Hello guys and gals, howdy do, this is your boy Muda, the chubby Indian dude on the internet. Now with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that, that that's a wholesome, beautiful enough interview for you, inter, 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 intro for you. God, I can't fucking speak. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, you may have heard of a channel called Leafy is Here. Now, I, I know Leafy is here. He's that kid on YouTube that, you know, records surf footage and talks about stuff. And that's what he used to do back in 2015. Leafy's been fucking dead for a while. And after a long comatose experience, he's finally back uploading shit posts every once in a while now i, I i'm i'm I, you know i'm friendly with leafy he's a cool guy and everything i'm not an active viewer of it but the shit posts are kind of nice there are some shit posts that leafy does that go a little bit too hard and i can see why he gets with the harassment and cyberbullying guideline but for the most part they're pretty harmless like shit posts i don't think anybody's really getting offended but it turns out that they may be because he's getting some community guideline strike. Now, in his defense, those are all taken care of. He has none as of the time of recording this video. But remember one thing. He had two, meaning that if he got a third community guideline strike, it, you ever watch that movie The Ring when that girl Samara comes out of the TV and like licks your asshole after seven days and somehow you die and shit? That's what was about to happen to him. YouTube was about to lick Leafy's asshole. They were about to go... A little bit into his butt cheeks, you know. It's about this is about to get some. This is about to get serious. YouTube was about to community guideline strike themselves with how they were acting. But with all of that said, ladies and gentlemen, Leafy has been taken care of. He's not getting struck anymore. YouTube will not be eating out that nice asshole after seven days. But it kind of leads me to a point where I, I sort of am a little alarmed why this even happened in the first place. The videos that he made were relatively harmless, so why is it out of nowhere that he's been getting hit with some of these guidelines? I've slowly been realizing that they're pushing out more of these guidelines to sort of stifle certain types of content on this platform. Now, and this, th this actually completely shocks me a little bit. To me, I'm not so worried. I, I can always make other types of content, call it a day. If YouTube implements something, I just don't make that kind of content and I shift my gears towards something that works on the platform. That doesn't mean that I'm okay with it, okay? I think stifling pieces of content on the platform is ultimately negative to the entire situation. It's like cancel culture. It doesn't fucking work and it's really fucking stupid. To me, somebody getting canceled is only okay if that person is doing something fucking illegal if that person is hurting someone or that person is actually violating the rules maliciously on a platform over and over and over again. You know, someone that may in fact fake fucking debts. Who knows, right? Like who, who knows? People like that. So when I see content creators who I may not even necessarily agree with get hit with strikes, you bet your ass I'm going to talk about it. That shit ain't okay. It ain't okay for channels to be getting that, that threat of removal out of nowhere. That's not okay. It never has been okay. And that's just kind of wanted to what I wanted to bring out. You may not like Leafy is here. Trust me. There's plenty of people who don't. There's plenty of people who consider him a god. I, I am not on either side of the fence, okay? But what I do know is when you see a content creator stifled and fail to go on the platform everyone loses because of it trust me we all do and it becomes a slippery slope type of situation again his videos weren't really even that hard maybe there was one video he made that actually would have been hard that's the i'm alex video he made where he went a little bit too heavy on that in my opinion enough for him to get the harassment and guidelines hit but the other videos he made the other shit posts he made ever since he came back, didn't really strike me as too heavy. And it made me wonder, if Leafy's gonna get hit, who's fucking next? Is someone like Critical available to be hit? Because he tends to go hard here and there, even though I think Critical's a great guy. He's an amazing dude. I respect him a lot, but he may be the next one who falls into the slippery slope. I might be the next one. There may be a whole litany of other people who might fall into it. YouTube's headed to a place where, unless you're like, you know, fucking Townsend's, who's like filming like back in the 1700s, you know, like, like make, make and make and rock soup. Love his channel, by the way. Absolutely brilliant channel. If you haven't checked out Townsend's, you should check out Townsend's. Townsend's is a fucking glorious channel in amongst the shithole that is YouTube. Absolutely. Just give that man a shout out that he deserves every single day of his life. But anyways, unless you're a channel like that, I can see you absolutely surviving against whatever YouTube tosses at you. But for channels that sort of like to stir the pot, stir the pot and like get into this get get into this kind of commentary circle, 
circle or just content that YouTube doesn't exactly jive with on a political or like uh, on, on a fundamental level are channels that you can definitely see get stifled here and there for sure. And I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with seeing any of that. And neither should you. You should not be okay with seeing some creators get treated unfairly, tossed to the wind, and ultimately shut down by YouTube because uh, YouTube themselves just don't happen to agree with it. And I understand it's YouTube, it's Google's website. They can do whatever the fuck they want. But YouTube has always been one of those websites where I've always looked at them as a site that has treated everyone 100% fairly. And I feel like if one creator making this type of content is not okay, then every single creator that makes content similar to that should be fucking removed from the platform as well. To see it selectively done gives me vibes from Twitch where we rag on them all the time for having the sort of selective practice. It's just weird. Now, I'm not going to feed into the conspiracy Leafy's le uh, conspiracy theories that Leafy is starting with, like, Ethan doing all this stuff because I don't believe that there's shit behind the scenes really being tossed in. And if there is, I'd, ri I'd like to see concrete proof. What I am just saying is this this slippery slope of of content removal kind of does alarm me But beyond that motherfuckers out there doing some illegal shit these days If you don't know there's a channel by the name of memeology 101 you may have heard of him I think PewDiePie shouted him out at one point that man has been hit with some copyright infringements false copyright claims which should be fucking illegal youtube's dmca system is so fucked up and broken that anybody can just in in good faith just file a dmca claim and pretty much ruin channels right there and then now again filing dmca claims are illegal and if they are truly false usually it comes down to filing a counterclaim and unless that person wants to start a legal pursuit with an individual on an obvious illegal and false dmca claim then uh, you'll be fine. But it does cause a headache because the moment you start getting three, Memology got fucking four at one point, okay? Meaning that his channel got the seven-day ring ass-licking treatment. YouTube was about to go, in seven days, we're gonna come up to your butt cheeks, spread them wide and go, you know, as disgusting as that shit sounds. But luckily, he's getting it cleared up. You know, one strike gets removed, another one gets added. He's stuck in this, like, seven-day repeating limbo hellhole, death stranding world of YouTube removal. And it's just something I wanted to raise awareness to. So, yeah, YouTube's all fucked up, definitely, when it comes to enforcement lately. And uh, definitely fucked up when it comes to the DMCA, but that, that's kind of been par for the fucking norm. But I wanted to make this video because I generally had this belief, and I wanted to see how much it resonated with the audience over there. Anyways, tomorrow we have a K-pop 4chan video, so let, let me know what you think about that in Deep Web on Sunday. I know I missed last week, but I had the flu, okay? I was, like, medically unfucking fit to do Deep Web browsing. So I'm going to make the next video a banger. That being said, though, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it. If you dislike it, I am out.